wasn't supposed to be this windy. We looked at the forecast before I headed down. But I think we're kind of stuck with it. So full send. Hopefully we don't get blown away. Holy crap. And we'll see what happens. This shall be fun. Surf fishing! It's like a good spot. Huh? Well, let's get the drum rigs out. What? Let's get them out. Those are the ones that are ready to go. He's got to throw bait on them, right? Yeah. So I'm cooking as long. If fishing's good, I'll cook on the back here and shit. I got boil some water and uh, do my uh, really tasty meals. I like these Tika rods. These are nice. They're all right. Huh? They could be better, but... Oh, they're, just, they're, they're balanced for what they are. For a cheap rod, they're pretty good. What are they, 69 bucks? Is that a... What kind of plover is... Or, uh, is that a rail? Or is that a plover? It's, it's either a willet or a yellow leg. Looks like it's got yellow legs. A little white. There was a little white. Right there. Yeah. So day two of fishing, and as you can see, hell of a lot better surf than yesterday. We're gonna get set up. We're gonna see what we can do. My feet are freezing because the sand is wet and it is chilly this morning. Oh fuck, that's great here. I'll go set that one in a holder. You thrust that one. Oh, you broke it off. Yeah. Damn. That's why I tried to straighten the line up, but apparently I didn't straighten up. I thought you like bombed it, but I guess not. Oh my no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I really need to get that drone up right now, dude, but I want to get rods in the water first. Well, let me get the rods in the water and you do the drone. Because this I'll too... get a sweet shot, then... Uh... This is too perfect right now for uh, to not get thrown up. Like, it's gorgeous. Hey, dude, I got a fish. <laughs> Look at that little whiting. 
Same thing? No? Well, first fish of the trip. Little tiny dude. Can you see where the line is now? It's in the sun. Like it's way the fuck over there and the other line's like right underneath it. When I cast out them, they're not all perfect. You know how to cast straight? Shut the fuck up. For a three hook rig. I got fish. I got a fish. <laughs> it's little. Put them in a cooler? Yeah. All right. Wait. Should have probably kept the other one then too, right? That's all right. I'll probably catch more. All right. Spot number two. Looks a little better surf wise. Sender. Whoa. It's probably open to bail. I didn't throw that one too straight. Oh, there's something on there or not. Do these weights bounce around? Nope. Dude! What is this thing? Is that a pompano? I don't know what this is. I need help, Ideen. Look at the little bugger. Ah, it's got spines. Look at them. Look at them. The pompano? Like yellow tail, black top fin. So he's definitely not legal, right? <laughs> really? It's a little pompano. It's good. Dude, I, stop. No, this is in the way. That mesh has stopped me from unhooking them. Yeah, that mesh is back around on the point somehow.
I have to cut this. Maybe it's going to let my little pompano go. My first pompano ever. About the size of a bluegill. <laughs> That's funny, but hey, whatever. Free, free, little buddy. Ah, where'd you go? I don't know where he went. <laughs> That's a good size one. That's a croaker. Hold him. Oh, yeah. Or letting go or if bait. Two. Cool. Gonna rinse my hands off. Ah. It looks like I might have one on this one. Yeah, there's something there. We got something on. Not very big. See bait? No? Uh, 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 uh. That's getting whacked, dude. Holy shit. Means something that actually pulls? Maybe? See what we got on. It's pulling. It's pulling. What do we got? What do we got? We have a double. Two different fish. Aha. Got a croaker. We got a pompano. Kyle, does that count as bait or fish? Another little tiny pompano. Pompano. There we go. We got something on. Another double. Kai, you want the little one? You want him for bait? Bro, 
Oh, it's going to the right. Something's dragging a little bit. Whoa, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. It's getting fucking rocked, dude. <laughs> yeah. Something pulling, I heard a little drag. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, it's there. It's like when it surges, it rips line. But then as it sucks in, it just like lightens right up. <clears throat> I don't know what this is. No. Is that a keeper? Yeah. yeah. Usually I start about there and everything bigger than that. So what is this? It's a big sea mullet. Okay. So that's, I mean, that's a good size one. It's a pound. Or maybe a hair of a pound. That's what we want. They'll smack the shit out of it. That's what they do. All they are is a little, little drunk. Yeah, it's just like, just like those redfish that were catching this size that one year. They hammered them, dude. That's awesome. That's my first sizable fish. Oh, crap. Come here. Come here. It's almost like a little walleye looking thing, you know? You know, it kind of looks like a walleye a little bit. Did mine get like raped, raped or something? What's that? My line. Did that one get raped while I was, while I was messing around? No, I hooked that little fish for you. Oh, that's right. So that was a bigger piece of shrimp on yours too, dude. I took a tail and just split it into thirds. So, so just caught the biggest fish of the day. There it is. Got myself a nice red. We're gonna unhook this bad boy. Since Kyle knows how to deal with them, I'll have him release them. Don't need to be a Steve Irwin here. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? He gone. Well, it's starting to get a little breezy, but so the wind's in a decent direction that we'll be able to stay out here. And I figured, you know what? Let's bust out the cooking setup. I'm going to make lunch for us today. Ooh. And uh, we're going to keep on fishing until we're out of, out of bait or just had enough. But got the Michigan game plan. Loving this little trip, guys. Needed it big time. Day three of the saltwater trip, at least fishing. Um, and today's mission is nothing but big fish. So the light rods, the shrimp rigs, the pompano rigs, left those at home and we are only looking for 
big fish, you know, uh, drum, trout, if they show up, whatever's big that wants to bite on a bottom rig, that's what we're looking for today. Uh, yesterday, running around chasing bait, rear baiting, you know, six rods was a freaking marathon. So today we're gonna just chill. It's a little bit colder, starting out windy, but sun's up and we're already on the beach. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll catch something. What do we got there? Sea mullet. Dirty old night crawler. Dirty old night crawler. So I'm just finishing up editing this video and I just realized I didn't do an outro. Um, you know, the trip, we were hoping for a lot of bigger fish. Uh, just before I came down, they were catching a lot of big redfish. Uh, they got like an eight or 10 foot hammerhead. I don't know, it was huge. Um, <clears throat> you know, a day or two before I got down there, um, and then the wind just shifted and kind of messed up the bite there on that beach. Um, the last day I was there was Halloween and he has a little girl. So we all went trick or treating together. Uh, so you don't mess with a kid's uh, candy um, deal. And she was really looking forward to it. So we had to cut day three short and just didn't produce any big fish other than a couple uh, sea trout and uh, whiting or sea mullet or whatever they i don't know everything looks the same it's silver and white and croaks and has scales but eventually you tell the difference between them all um, but it was a fun trip it wasn't about necessarily the fish uh that we were catching it was more spending time with you know my best man for my wedding and getting to see him we went turkey hunting this spring together um and it's been a bunch of years before we actually got time him and i both to go do stuff together um, being this far apart, it's tough. We used to hunt and fish together a absolute ton. I mean, that's what I miss about hunting and fishing is having, you know, a handful of people that I used to do a ton of it with that have moved to other places in the country or I moved away from them and just adult life, you know. So it was nice to kind of revisit uh, the good old days. Um, Kyle and I have been friends since high school, all through college and, I mean, pushing 20 years now. And I just love going down and hanging out with him every chance I get. And I'm sure he feels the same way. So that's it for this video, guys. Sorry there's no big fish. But as you can see, there's a few more videos coming to the channel more often. I'm going to try to make a really good effort going into ice season to kind of get myself in a groove again, making videos for you guys. So when we start making ice, I know, saltwater video, I'm talking about ice. Um, we'll be hitting the ice hopefully soon. Um, I got an idea for another trip I might do this weekend see how that goes uh, but as always guys thank you for tuning in the channel be sure to you know subscribe like rumble if you're watching this on rumble um but yeah thanks guys for tuning in sticking with me here on the channel life has been hectic as always guys tight lines happy casting and we'll see you in the next video